What's up? What it do, y'all? It's been a minute. I got a word for y'all, but it been taking me all week. The Lord just gave me the right time to release it, y'all. Because, you know, we have things going on, and I had to find the right time to meditate on the word, understand what God is trying to put into me and everything. But, yeah. What's up? What what it do? Welcome to my channel. For those who are new, I'm Misha. For those who aren't new, hey, welcome back. I'm glad to have you. But yeah, um, I don't even know what my title gonna be. But I know. Well, this is our call to discipleship. You got to stand on the word. I don't know what the title going to be yet, y'all, but we got to let, I know what it's going to be. I ain't going to tell y'all. Y'all going to see it anyways before y'all see this. But yeah, um, I got a word. Uh, I got my little chicken scratch, y'all. Got little notes I just wrote jot down real quick because it really was in my phone first. So I just broke it down smaller and put it on him. But yeah, okay, so when I God was giving me this word, he gave it to me like, I'm finna try to hurry up, y'all, because um, it's hot and my phone gonna die. But yeah, um, first he was like, he kept saying, giving me salt. He kept getting, and then he also was giving me the word preserve and preservation. And... So I did my little digging and my research, and I was mad at saying, like, God, is this what you want me to say? You know, y'all know how it go when you're trying to discern the word of God and trying to get your clarity and stuff. Oh, excuse me, y'all. I'm swimming. Look at my face. Um, That's why we know we got to hurry up, y'all. But, yeah, so he led me through to Matthew 5, 13 through 16. First, we're going to say a little prayer. Then I'm going to tell y'all the song he led me to. Okay, so, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you just use me right now. Lord, give me the word the way you want me to deliver the word to your people, Lord. Give them the ears and the heart to discern what you're trying to tell them, Lord. Maybe this word reached them right now at the right time, Lord. And I hope that with your word, they be obedient and apply it to their lifestyle, Lord. In your holy name, I pray. Amen. Okay, y'all. But yeah, the song God gave me, yeah. Okay, so if y'all was brought up in church or y'all went church, to church as a young child or something, so this song got learned in vacation Bible school. It's a little kid song, but you know it's a little gospel, little kid song. And it, it it keep like this song keep being in my mind. It ain't been on my mind in years, so I don't know how the the song just came to me. You know, the, okay, the song goes, I'm gonna stand on the rock, I'm gonna stand on the rock, I'm gonna stand on the rock, on God's word, I'm gonna try to obey, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna try to obey, obey God's word, on God's word, on God's word, my house will stand tall, my house will stand tall, without God's word, without God's word. My house will fall. And so that's what God is trying to tell us. Without his word, your house will fall. But with God's word, your house will stand tall. So Lord, the Lord is building us on a solid foundation. And we don't already discuss that. But yeah, like. So he, he gave me to. We're going to break down Matthew's chapter 5 verse 13 through 16. And verse 13 is, you are the salt of the earth. But if salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It's no longer good for anything itself to be thrown out and trampled on the foot. And what, he, what he's trying to say with that is, is to preserve us as his disciples and followers we are to lead by an example and be a positive influence in the world. 
just like as if salt was to lose its saltiness, it's become useless. Like, if you can't taste salt, what you going to, you know, what, what, what's, what's the point of salt? And if we, and if we just like that, if we fail to live, live according to his word, or follow his word and principles, then we will lose our effectiveness to impact people. So we got to do our due diligence. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I ain't even, we got to do, we got to do so that we can be seen so that people can see the God in us. We got to lead by an example. So that brings me to verse 14. You are the light of the world. A town built on the hill cannot be hidden. And that is saying, as his followers are to say that, oh, child, cheek scratch. As his followers, we are to shine bright in everything we do. Worship all to be good, so good. Our words and actions are to stand out in the world of darkness. Be the light. Okay? And then in verse 15, neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on the stand and it gives lights to the whole room. I mean, to the whole house. My bad. Um, so they're basically saying, let your light shine before others to see that to let them see that let let people see your gifts your talents don't let it be hidden so that don't let it be hidden that nobody else sees it share it with the people so that they may know the goodness of the lord be impactful be influence be impactful influence those around you reach those you can reach and then the last verse we got is verse 16 and in the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see the good, good deed, that they may see your good deeds. And that's basically the same thing I just said. You know, to sum it up, this is a call to discipleship, challenging God's believers to be a positive influence of the word. Let the Lord's word preserve you. Let it preserve your godly values. Lead by an example. And like if you're gifted and you're talented in the Lord, share share your word of God. Like these go for the the prophecy, his prophets, his prophetess, his pastors, his preachers, his anybody. And let me tell y'all something. Cause a lot of people call themselves prophets, which they're not. But I do want to let y'all know, you do not have to be a prophet to prophesy. Long as God can lay a word on you and you feel like you got the guts and the courage to stand and tell God's word to his people, you, that is a prophecy. You can prophesy. You don't have to be a prophet to prophesy. You ain't got to claim to be a prophet to prophesy and teach God's word. Because as long as the Lord lay his word on you, Tell the people, don't be afraid. And allow the Holy Spirit to use you when you wrong people. Tell them the word. Even you ain't got to go. I ain't saying go preach to everybody. You know what I'm saying? But use the, use the word for everything. Like if you see people down, tell them about the goodness of Jesus. Tell them about, you know. Make a good reference, like, you know, post some positivity in their life. Like, tell them that, well, at least you're still here. You still got air to breathe. You know, you still got this. You you know, just tell people. And you just got to spread the gospel to the people, like, for real. Don't be ashamed of God. It's hot in here, y'all. I don't want to make this too long, but the word is the word. 
Look, I gave y'all a word and a song and all that in a short amount of time, but y'all, I ain't gonna even make this no longer because it's simple as that. That's the word. Don't be afraid to spread the gospel. Don't forget, don't don't be afraid to pour the gospel into the people. Preach the word. Tell the word. Tell them about the goodness of Jesus. Invite them to church. If you know somebody and they ain't been to church in a long time, invite them to church. Normalize bringing the children back to church. Like, so that they can grow up and be decent human beings. Like, y'all. I ain't always been like that. I'm a prime example of what God can do. He's able and he is willing. So, I'm going to talk. I'm a, mouthpiece, I'm a mouthpiece for the Lord. I'm going to speak up. And I will highly encourage you guys to speak up. You ain't got to speak to the people in church. Or they already in church. They going to get the word. Whether they be receptive to the word or not. You know, they deal. It's the, it's the preacher's job to reach them. Y'all got to step out and reach the other people. Reach your family, your friends. Tell you. Like, my folk be like, dang. Misha, every time you somewhere, you always invite us about church. My sister just said that the other day. They don't come, but I, they come here and there. I ain't going to even lie. Some people come, some people don't. But at the end of the day, even though they just show for one day, as long as they get that word and they, they apply it to their life. Oh, and thank you, Holy Spirit. And, like, y'all can know the word, but you got to apply it. It is not hard to serve the Lord. And that's what that's what it's saying in this word. Like, be so anointed. Be so deep into the word of God to the word of God is presented upon you. Like, when people see you, they see church. They see the Lord in you. You got to serve that good. Be a positive influence. Don't be so easy to be angered. Don't be so easy to be tricked by the enemy. God is good to us. And we ought to walk around like we know the Lord has been good to us. We should walk around and show the people how good God is to us. Lead by an example. It's up to it's up to us. Like God is rounding up his disciples. He is rounding up his pro prophets and prophetess. He is rounding us up. Don't be afraid. You're useless if you don't spread the word. What are you getting the knowledge for? If you ain't gonna show God show people the goodness of God, spread the word. What you gonna keep it all to yourself? Your gifts, your talented talents. If you can sing, get up there and sing. If you can preach, get up. I ain't gonna nah. <laughs> if you got a word, spread the word to the people. You know what I'm saying? Like, lead by an example. If you're a positive person, get a child and mentor them. If you feel like you're called for the youth, speak up. Be a be a mentor. In the kid's life, show them the right route to go. Like, do what you gotta do to be accepted in the kingdom. Don't be useless. Worship like you mean it. Worship like you know the word. Worship like you know the Lord is good. Because the Lord has been good to all of us. Whether you want to admit it or not. Whether you want to admit it or not, the Lord has been good to us. He didn't have to wake us up, but guess what? We up. He wasn't obligated. He chose to wake you up. So choose him. Choose his word. It ain't hard to serve the Lord. It ain't hard to be obedient to what he do like. God, even though God will call anybody... But in your in your own divine time and things will change. Even if you got a few problems that you feel like the Lord needs to sort out, sort out for you, and you don't feel like you're quali you're a qualified Christian or 
mouthpiece for the Lord, he still can use you. Open your mouth. If you still know the Lord is good, still tell people. Show people how good God is. Still, you're testify. Testify on his behalf. It don't matter because God said come as you are. At the end of the day, you're not going to leave the way you came. In your due time, time things will change. Things will progress. You know, they say practice made perfect, but practice don't make perfect. But you will be better. Nothing is perfect but Jesus. Nothing is perfect but God. And you got to know that. So come as you are. It don't matter your background. It don't matter what's on your resume. You ain't got to be perfect to spread the word of God because I'm not perfect. But one thing about it, I'm going to tell people about the goodness of the Lord because the Lord has been good for me, good to me. Man, when I tell y'all, things have the power to change. You just got to be sincere. You got to be obedient. You got to listen to the word. You got to apply the word. And God will make a way for you to be able to apply the word. Sometimes we have our own things going on and things may be difficult and or whatnot. But you got to stand on the rock. On God's word. Because on God's word, your house will stand tall. But without it, it will come falling down. You got to lift. You got to lift your voice. You got to lift your worship. You got to lift your worship. Open your mouth. Let God use you. He can use you. He can and will use anybody. You ain't got to be perfect. He loves you just the way you are. I love you. He loves you even more. Make sure y'all comment, like, subscribe. Share video with this, with a friend if they need it. If you, you got a positive friend that always talking about the goodness of God, encourage them. Support them. Share, share this video with them. Or... Tell them to keep doing what they're doing. Encourage them. Encourage yourself in the Lord. Encourage yourself. When times get hard, encourage yourself. Y'all be easy. I love y'all.